a question for you. Isn't it beautiful outside? The birds are singing, the sun is shining. It's warm, but not too warm. You don't want to stay at home. You want to go to the park to run around in the grass even though you're a grown-ass adult with your kids, dogs, or whatever domestic animals you have. Now, you may not be aware, but someone else is also running along with you. Well, not technically running. I'm talking about these guys. I'm sorry, did you think you were the only one enjoying the beautiful weather outside that sun, that fresh weather? Alright then, now that I have your attention, I am making this video because in 21st century there are still people who have no idea that antiparasitic drugs exist. These people have no idea how dangerous external and internal parasites can be for their animals, for them and for their children. In its own simple being, the mosquito, the tick, the flea are not dangerous. I mean, unless you have millions of these on you that will suck that much blood, they're not dangerous. The problem with these things is that they carry deadly disease. Things like Lyme disease, malaria, anaplasmosis, durofilaria, the internal parasites. Well, they are deadly on their own. Interesting about them is that they need the host to be alive so that they can be alive. If the host dies, they will die. So what you will see in front of you, if your pet or a human has an internal parasite, you will see this individual, this organism getting weaker and weaker every day. He will have shortness of breath. They will lose body weight. His organs will start to fail. Listen people, every organism on this planet has its own purpose. I met people that say, okay, let's kill them nasty blood sucking bugs. Well, you might kill some of these nasty blood sucking bugs but that will not destroy all of them even if you use some kind of chemical in your backyard that doesn't mean that you will not carry eggs of this uh let's say of a flea or a tick again in your backyard from your neighbor i had a flea in my house before i even had pet guess who got that flea in the house this one now that i scared the crap out of you it's time to tell you what you can do so you can protect your pets yourself and your kids okay i want you to tell everyone use anti-parasitic drugs it's extremely simple anti-parasitic drugs here's a guide step by step one call your vet ask what kind of protection against parasites should you use here you have to be specific actually on what kind of animal do not mistake a bird for a cow please do not mistake a bird for a cow number three then you head to the clinic and buy those drugs or the vet pharmacy and you buy those drugs or even a better idea is your vet to come to your pets to your domestic animals and give them those antiparasitic drugs well wasn't that easy i don't know why people don't understand this but your vet is there to help your animals listen to what he has to say yeah to the person with the diploma years of experience and the white coat covered in handsome looking in that white coat the doctor will prescribe drugs depending on the animal and on the parasite there are millions of different products out there i'm serious there are millions of them some last three weeks some last three months the point of these drugs is to protect your animal from actually catching the disease 
to prevent actually getting bitten by a mosquito, by a flea, by a tick, please do me a favor and call your vet as soon as possible. Also share this video so we can spread awareness because this is a serious matter. Well guys, until next time, I wish you all the best. Keep giving that amazing care to your beloved animals. Share this video. Share it, share it, share it. Call your vet. And I will see you next time. Bye.